what's up guys welcome back to the channel today we're gonna be watching uh 80 minute gameplay slash trailer release from soccer punch for the new and upcoming game ghost to tsushima so i'm gonna be giving you a bit of things i like about it and things i don't like about it i don't think there'll be anything i don't like about it but who knows maybe they want a few things but without further ado let's get into it let's take a look at how you explore the world of Tsushima. I love the colors, they're very bright. And from the beginning, you can see they show up the, that detailed open world. Just from looking at the wind blowing the cape, you can see the amount of attention placed into details. How can we let the island guide you in the most thematic and immersive ways possible? Using the wind as a guide is very cool. Riding the horse from the angle looks kind of weird. Don't know if it would, uh, it would translate to you guys the same way. Horse riding in Red Dead and the Witcher Tree looks more normal to me. locations in game like this farmstead that's been taken over by the mongols it can also take you to your next big story moments or i like the simple look of the map not too much on it but it lets you know exactly what you need to know you don't know exist keep your eyes peeled for other visual cues smoke stacks on the horizons interesting and odd shaped trees or maybe even animals trying to get your attention quickly no Seems like uh, seems like when you walk the horse, it's set in a different position on the screen, not set. So that's interesting. Let's go, Nobu.
to the animals lead you to important places. Nice. Oh, so there's fast travel in it. Should be nice. Sichima is rich with exploration and discovery. And whether you're just following a string of Tory gates that'll lead you to a high mountain shrine, or maybe it's just the fox trying to show you something hidden in the woods. Either way, bring your sense of adventure and let the wind guide you. There's that wind visuals again. Just stun it. This is Nate Fox from Sucker Punch. Now, we just showed you some exploration, but let's switch gears and check out some combat. Finally, we are gonna get some gameplay. That should be nice. If you've ever seen a samurai movie, you know what to expect. Two warriors, sizing each other up, waiting for the other to make the first move. Good fighting! So there's a standoff mode. Interesting. I thought the combat would be more like running and kill people without even doing that, but let's see. Precision in fighting you. No wasted energy. Every strike must count. Guy lost his hand, so. At least there's decapitation in this. Take a few limbs off, take some heads off, maybe. Interesting. Okay, so that was Jin fighting as a samurai. But now let's see him take on the same group of Mongols as the dishonorable ghost. As the oh, so there's two modes of fighting. Can think you of can be the good guy the or the bad guy. Even using uh, the I know I'm gonna be the ghost throughout the game anyway, so I'm taking that road. No high road for me.
fighting as it goes also looks more fun so we'll test out both both ways anyway so it shouldn't be a problem we'll just see what we have to do and how we deal with it There's the grappling, they showed it in the previous videos before, so at least it's there still. So far the combat, I, I really like the combat so far. It's interesting and it's different from what I've seen before, so it shouldn't be a problem. We should enjoy playing at least, with the kind of combat they have. I'm not too big on the and uh what you call it being a samurai vibe where you challenge someone because one ninja game you challenge someone but it's not a ninja game it's a samurai game so I'm trying to tell you a bit more or give you a bit more um options than basing it just on one genre anyway so it's a ninja slash samurai game very interesting. You might have noticed that while fighting as the samurai or sneaking around as the ghost, Jin had on a different set of armor. That's because the armor in this game actually gives you different mechanical advantages. It's not just the way it looks. It helps accent your chosen playstyle. As you explore the world, you'll discover Omamori charms. They'll give you an edge in battle. But more importantly, as your legend grows, you'll develop all new techniques which transform Jin from the samurai into the ghost. The thing is, you get to decide how those techniques evolve and grow over time. It's always worth keeping an eye out for dyed flowers. Find enough of them and you can change the color of an armor. So not only do you get to choose how the ghost gameplay evolves, but you can fine tune the look as well. Sucker Punch game if it didn't have photo mode. Yeah, photo mode, I don't really use photo mode in games. I did it once in like uh, Division 2. There was something really cool on the wall and I took a picture of it, but I never really, really shared it. But being able to customize your photo is in this one. Something I'll look into and maybe post a few po photos on my Discord, which also I have a Discord channel. We're trying to get it up and running. And maybe on Instagram. Links are in the description below, so you can check those out if you want to. Japanese voice track option with subtitles is a perfect fit for our game, so I'm happy to say that before the first scene even starts, you'll be able to turn this option on.
お侍様の戦い方じゃない何を申すお侍どころじゃないよこのお方は猛虎を打ち滅ぼすため Sucker Punch, we are huge fans of Samurai Cinema. We wanted to create a way for you to feel like you're playing your favorite Samurai movie. So we created a windy, black and white, film grained out mode that you can turn on from the very beginning of the game. So there you have it guys, some, there was some combat, there was some exploration and customization. The customization is a bit simple where you just change the colors of your outfit but, and there's a few pieces that you can get like the ninja mode. It's, I saw a new, uh, few ninja pieces in there which they say gives you different abilities or fighting styles so shouldn't be bad, should be fun trying those out. And uh, it wasn't, it wasn't all that bad. I did enjoy the video. Um, the game releases in July, July 17th. It should be pretty good. A few games should be coming out around that time too. But mainly we're going to be playing Ghost of Tsushima, as the guy said. So if you want to get more videos and content, gameplay related, Especially from the ghosts or uh, other videos because we do post other videos on the channel you can always hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can get updates when i do post my videos we're going to be posting a few more videos on the channel more and get into a rhythm or something like that also we do stream on twitch so you can always come and hang out with us and join the fun or you can play along with me i'm right now i'm streaming Warzone and the Division 2. If you do have those games, you can drop my your PSN in the con in the comment section and we can play together. Who knows? We're all here to have fun at the end of the day. So until then, see you in the next one.